Good evening, everybody. How are y'all? Good. Doing good. Good. Doing great. Good. Doing great. Happy to be here. Amen. Uh, Seven o'clock. We'll get the uh, meeting started. I'll call the meeting to order. Let's rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. America. To the Republic, the Republic of America, which is the one nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We call on Willie Cole to lead us in prayer. Let's bow our heads, please. Most Heavenly Father, it's once more you're allowing us to assemble to do the business of, the, of our community. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for being in control of during all this chaos and this confusion. Father, we ask you to continue to bless this committee as we strive to do what is right in your sight and as well as our community. Father, we ask the prayer tonight for our members of our community who have chosen to serve and protect. Father, we ask you to remember them as they go about their daily activities, keeping us safe from harm and danger. Father, we just pray that you would lead us and give us the strength and the wisdom to do what is correct in your sight as well as this community. We pray in Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Before roll call, let me remind uh, everybody that we're having this meeting pursuant to Executive Order 16 issued by Governor Bill Lee <coughs> and that the Dysburg Board of Mayor and Auburn have determined that meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Tennesseans in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. This meeting shall be conducted by electronic means and shall be open and accessible to public attendance by electronic means. It is acknowledged by the <clears throat> Director Board of Mayor and Alderman that Executive Order 16 does not in any way limit exist existing quorum or voting requirements under the law. Uh, thank you for letting me read that. And with that, I'll let uh, ask Mr. Recorder <coughs> to call the roll. Scott? Alderman Baltimore? Present. Edward Burke? Here. Coco? Present. Megan Gilbert? Here. Mayor? Here. Ricky Hammond? Here. Mary Claire? Here. Dennis Moody? Here. Anna? Here. Good to hear from all y'all. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next item on the agenda is uh, <clears throat> approval of minutes. I entertain a motion to approve the minutes from May 4, 2020. Coach Cole, so move. Motion from Coach Cole. Is there a second? I second. That. Second. second. Say it one more time. Who was it? James Baltimore. And then okay, Baltimore. Okay. Okay. It's done Baltimore for second. Any discussion? <clears throat> okay, and everything we do will be a roll call vote, so Mr. Recorder. If you will call the roll to approve the minutes. James Baltimore? Yes. Edward Burks? Yes. Coach Cole? Yes. Thank you, Gilbert? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mayor Claire? Yes. Dennis Moody? Yes. Anna Webb? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Motion carries. Uh, next item on the agenda, unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business? <coughs> new business. And a new business, we are having a public hearing for a beer permit for Murphy USA. 2640 Lake Road, Irishburg, Tennessee. That information was in your packet. It was properly advertised in the State Gazette. Uh, background uh, information was on there. And I believe Chief Fisbull is on the phone with us. Chief? Yes, sir. Thank you. I reviewed the background application packet for an off-premise consumption beer permit, which allowed the sale of beer at 2640 Lake Road, which is Murphy, USA. I find no reason to deny the applicant a beer permit and would recommend you do so. Okay, you've heard the recommendation. Is there a motion to accept the Chief's recommendation? 
So moved, Ricky Hammond. Okay, I have a motion from Ricky Hammonds. or a second? Second, Coach Cole. <clears throat> second from Coach Cole. This is a public hearing. Anybody on the line wish to speak to this? Okay, hearing none, we've got a motion and a second to approve the beer permit at Murphy, USA. Mr. Corder, will you call the roll? James Baltimore? Yes. Edward Burks? Yes. Coach Cole? Yes. Megan Gilbert? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mary Claire Hopper? Yes. Dennis Moody? Yes. Another well. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Motion carried. Uh, next item on the agenda, a reappointment of the White Hedge to the Bowersburg Electric Power Board for a term of four years that will end on June 30th, 2024. In your packet was uh, a letter from Steve Lane, President and CEO, asking us to reappoint uh, Dr. Hedge to the Bowersburg Electric Power Board. At this time, I'm entertain a motion to approve the reappointment of Dr. Hedge to the Dallas Electric Power Board. I have a so move, Dennis Moody. I have a motion from Dennis Moody. Is there a second? Uh, James Baltimore, second. Okay, Mr. Baltimore with a second. Mr. Porter, will you call the roll? Please? James Baltimore? Yes. Yeah. Edward Burks? Yes. Coach Cole? Yes. Megan Gilbert? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Mary Claire Ham? I mean, Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mary Claire Hopper? Yes. Dennis Moody? Yes. And Will? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Motion carries. Next item agenda local government committee meeting minutes from May 7th. 2020 Chairwoman Mary Claire Hopper. Mary Claire. Thank you. The local government committee met Thursday, May 7th. I called the meeting to order presenting the text amendment of the ordinance of BB 672. I asked Thomas Mullins with the Dyersburg Code Enforcement to update the committee on the proposed changes. Mr. Mullins noted a version of the ordinance was passed last year. However, local resident, restaurant owners addressed their concerns with the ordinance with the city board during May 6, 2019 board meeting. Basically, what we've done is compile those concerns into the original ordinance, and that is what is being presented today, said Mullins. Mayor Holden noted the proposed changes was part of a motion made in May of 2019 that the ordinance would be reviewed and discussion would take place with any necessary amendments or revisions. Alderman Baltimore motioned to approve the amendments to the ordinance. Mayor Holden seconded the motion. The motion was approved by committee members by roll call vote. Mayor Holden mentioned with the committee's actions being a change in city ordinance, a notice of public hearing would be on the next board meeting agenda, May 18th, with the public hearing to be held June 1st, 2020. And with no further business, the meeting was adjourned. Okay, thank you very much. And then uh, on to the next item of business is the notice of public hearing to be held on June 1st, 2020, ordinance BB 672, an ordinance amending the text of ordinance BB 672, uh, in which the committee met about. So uh, that was uh, notice of public hearing has been submitted to the paper. You see that in your agenda, and also uh, the ordinance is attached as well with the changes uh, outlined in red there. At this time, I would entertain a motion to approve the notice of public hearing to be held on June 1st, 2020. This is the Say it one more time. This is the Vanetta, so moved. Okay, I have a motion from Vanetta Webbs. There a second? Second. 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 second from Mr. Baltimore? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Will you call the roll, Mr. Reporter? Okay. James Baltimore? Yes. Yeah. Edward Burke? Yes. Coach Cole? Yes. Megan Gilbert? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mayor Claire Hopper? 
Yes. Yes, Moody. Yes. Matter well. Yes. Thank you. all Thank you. Motion carries. Also, in your uh, packet was uh, a note from me dated May 15th on uh, some comments that we had received from the public. We just listed what those comments were, the proposed solutions for those concerns, uh, and we will probably have another local government committee meeting prior to June 1st to go over that. But that's just for your information, the calls that are a call or two that we've got with those concerns. Just want to make you aware of that, how that came about, okay? Uh, next item on the agenda, Street Sanitation Committee meeting, May 14th, 2020. Chairwoman Mary Claire Hopper. Thank you. The Street and Sanitation Committee met Thursday, May 14th. I called the meeting to order. I opened the floor for discussion about drainage issues on Woodside Lane, in particular the area next to Mr. Michael Simmons' residence. Drainage improvements were approved by the City Board in November of 2018, but prior to the improvements being made, the project was challenged by the downstream property owner claiming such work would adversely affect the property, their property and work has never commenced. Mayor Holden made a motion to seek legal advice from the City of Dyersburg Attorney regarding this issue. Alderman Hammond seconds the motion with all committee members voting in favor of the motion. The committee was also shown a collage of pictures and videos that were taken on May 4th during the most recent flash flood event to reflect many areas of the city of Dyersburg that were impacted by this event. With no further business, the committee was adjourned. Okay, so uh, thank you, Mary Claire. So at this time, I mm -hmm. would entertain a motion that we uh, seek legal advice from the city attorney based on a recommendation from the Street Sanitation Committee meeting. Coach Coles, so move. Okay, I have a motion from Coach Coles. Is there a second? This is Vanetta. I would second. I have a second from Miss Vanetta. Miss Recorder, will you yes. call the roll? James Baltimore? Yes. Edward Burks? Yes. Coach Cole? Yes. Peggy Gilbert? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mary Claire Hopper? Yes. Dennis Moody? Yes. And a will? Yes. Thank you. All All right, motion carries. Next item, the agenda cemetery committee meeting minutes from May 14th, 2020. Chairwoman Megan Gilbert. Megan? Hi, Mayor. Um, the cemetery committee meeting Meet met evening May 14th. Uh, Greg Williams uh, presented a request for proposal from Dalhoff Thomas Design Studio for the design of the Fairview Cemetery expansion. Uh, he noted that he uh, requested proposals back in February, and uh, only Dalhoff responded, and that but that we had previously worked with him with them, and uh, he recommended that we move forward. Um, we decided. Uh, let's see, phase one will be utilizing the land from uh, Connie Mack Ball Field on Harrell Avenue, and phase two would be utilizing the grounds where the soccer field is located between St. John Ave and East Tickle Street. Um, James Baltimore made the motion to approve, approve the proposal from Dahlhoff Thomas Design Studio uh, with a second from the mayor, and our minutes need to be amended to say that um, this motion was actually amended to, to, to state that it is contingent upon the budget. But uh, that was it for our meeting. Okay. We will make that uh, addition to those minutes, okay, if that's all right with everyone. Okay. So uh, I would entertain a motion that we proceed with this, um, as Megan has mentioned. Mary Claire Hopper, so move. We have a motion from Mary Claire Hopper. Is there a second? It, it needs to be done, so second, James Baltimore. Okay. James Baltimore with a second. Mr. Corder, will you call the roll? Thank you. Uh, James Baltimore? Yes. Edward Burns? Yes. Tosco? Yes. Maggie Gilbert? Yes. 
Mayor? Yes. Ricky Hammond? Yes. Mayor Claire Hopper? Yes. Ms. Moody? Yes. Another well. Yes. Thank you all. Okay, motion carries. Next item on the agenda is bids. There are no bids tonight. Uh, next item will be a report from the Alderman. Start with James Baltimore. Uh, Mayor, I just want to mention one thing about the Woodside Drive. I would hope that we get a chance to do something to make sure that those people houses quit flooding. That's all I got to say. Okay, thank you. Edward? Uh, yeah, a couple of things. Uh, what about the budget for next year? Are you and Steve Anderson planning on a continuation budget? Uh, find out what tax revenues are. What to thank you now. Well, uh, Steve and I talked or met today and discussed our budget. Uh, he has got most of the uh, budgets in from the department heads within the city. Uh, obviously, we are dependent on property taxes and sale tax, sales taxes. There's a two-month lag on sales taxes, so we should be getting a report uh, this month that will reflect March numbers. I will tell you February numbers were not bad. Um, I don't expect March to be that bad because all this started toward the end of March. But So two-month lag time, obviously there was a reappraisal that was done by the county. I've heard a lot of discussion about that. So we are honestly waiting directive from Nashville on how to handle this because there will be an appeal process by those property owners that have the ability to appeal their tax appraisals to the county. Uh, and as soon as we get some guidance, we will certainly pass that along. Okay. Uh, another thing, I, I know the Executive Board of 34 permits us to meet electronically. I'm hoping by 1st of June, you know, restaurants are opening back up, Walmart, Lowe's, anywhere you go. There are people out there now that we can at least consider meeting face-to-face, -face, you know, if we wear a mask or you know, have our temperature checked and, you know, spread out a little bit, something like that. I just hope we can, can consider that since we're trying to get the economy going. I think we need to do something, too, to help. That's all. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Coach Cole? Yes. Uh, Chief Visible, I'd like to commend you and your department on handling the situation that developed on Upper Finley a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you did a commendable job. And number two, I've noticed that the removal of the soybeans and the other property, other things on the off of 51 Highway, has almost been completed. That's it. Okay, thank you. Anything else? No, that's it. All right, thanks, Megan. No report. Okay, Ricky. Nothing. Thank you. Mary Claire? I have a uh, notification about the sanitation department. Summer hours will start the week of May 26th from 6 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Just to make sure that everyone has their trash out the night before your scheduled pickup day or before the 6 a.m. morning of your scheduled pickup day. Thank you. Thank you. Dennis? No report. Vanetta? No report. Okay, thank you. Uh, we will put, that has also been sent to Brandon, that notice that was sent to y'all a little bit earlier. Uh, we'll put that on Facebook and social media. That will start on Tuesday of next week, the summer hours. We'll do that every year for the sanitation department. And then let me remind you that Monday is Memorial Day, City Hall, uh, and city services will be closed except for essential uh, personnel. So. Thank you all very much. Appreciate your time. And with no further business, we are adjourned. Have a great week. You too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.